Welcome to technical drawing. Now in this sum, we will draw front view, top view and left hand side view. We will convert this 3D into 2D. So when observer will see from this arrow, he can see length, height and width. We have to draw front view, top view and left hand side view in first angle. So first we will draw layout. Length is how much? 50. Right? Height is 30. So we'll take 10, 20, 30. And we will draw box. Now always remember, first we will do, we have to draw light layout, length and height. In front view, we can see only length and height. Then we leave 20 and we will draw box for top view. Right? Now if you see how much is width, 30. Length is 50. So we'll mark 50, which is length. In top view, we'll see length and width. How much it is? 30. Width is 30. So we'll take that much and we will draw very light box. We'll draw lines from top view. See this. This angle is 45 degree. We project vertical line. See this angle is 45 degree and we'll draw vertical line wherever it will intersect with the horizontal line. So the line which you have drawn from top view, we will take it up. So what will happen? We will get side view. So we have done the layout of front view, top view and side view. This will give you an idea that how much space you are going to use. Right? How much space you are going to occupy for the sum now in front view i can see a b c d e and f this is only for understanding a to b so first we will mark a to b see this a b a b is dark then b to c 30 then we have c to d which is 10 now we have a slope also but first we will draw we, we can't we don't have any dimension so we'll draw a to f which is 10 and from there we'll draw horizontal line which is 10 i'm sorry it is not given it is 10 mm so this is e ef is 10 and then you can join DE with a scale. So we are done with front view. And this is a front portion. So I can write behind as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that would be easier for understanding. So when I see from the top, I can see that this portion, which is 3 and 6, which will be here. 3, 4, 5, 6. See this. So first I will draw that line. 3 to 4 is how much? 10. That we can project from front view. After that, 5 to 6, that also we can project from front view. See, I'm writing it in front view, so you'll have an idea. This will be dark, so one rectangle is done. C, D, right? Then this rectangular surface so that you can project from front and again you draw line so this is how you will get 3 4 5 6 and EF CD so you can darken this line so we are done with top view so when you see from the top you will see three rectangle 1 2 3 this slope will appear as a rectangle. See that. Let's say this is P, Q and R. So this is P, this is Q and this is R. R, P and Q. 
now we will draw side view we'll draw line from front view so we are getting portion m and q so i can write m height is 10 and then you draw horizontal line from yes so you'll get 30 by 10 lower portion now if you see this slope which will appear as a straight line this slope will also appear as a straight line which is 4 d yes 4 5 so we can darken this portion also so side view is also done now we will do dimensioning. Now remember one thing, smaller dimension will be always inside and the big, bigger one will be outside. So this is very useful topic, orthographic, which is almost like a basics of all the technical drawing related su subject. It is useful in engineering, architecture, interior designing. So this is a must topic where we are converting three dimensional into two dimensional.